My name is Vijesh Bhute. I'm a teaching fellow in the Department of Chemical Engineering at Imperial College London. I feel very proud and happy to have won the President's Award for Excellence in Teaching Innovation. Uh, this work was done in, with collaboration with students as well as my colleagues and I'm really proud that this got recognized this year. I received this award for my work uh, related to improving accessibility as well as developing innovative techniques to deliver learning resources in mathematics and also supporting the transformation of undergraduate teaching labs from in-person to a very new approach called Create Labs approach where I assisted with developing new technologies and implementing them, trialing them and again uh, all of this work was uh, done during the pandemic so uh, there were a lot of challenges but uh, I am quite proud that I was able to support students um, even though they were remote. The Create Labs project uh, that we did was in collaboration with the undergraduate teaching lab team. Um, and so in this project we were hoping to uh, deliver uh, the pilot scale experiments to students uh, to anywhere in the world. Um, now this was an unprecedented challenge because this happened um, suddenly due to the pandemic. And um, what this meant was we had to come up with uh, the best choice of technologies. Um, to ensure that the students who are not present uh, would feel that they are doing tasks on their own. Uh, what this meant was transforming all the experiments to be remotely operable, uh, making sure that the students can see in real time what was happening in the lab, um, so they can operate the equipment, take measurements, and also communicate with each other as well as with the person who is actually present in the lab. In mathematics, one of the key things to learn is by practice. Uh, so the students need to trial, uh, find out that they are wrong in a certain way, and then amend their techniques. Um, the traditional way that was, the math was delivered was there were certain problem sheets or assignments that the students would do. Um, the issue was that they didn't receive any feedback on those assignments. Um, so what I did was um, I basically looked at what technologies were out there and used one of those technologies which enables students to practice at their own pace and give them instant feedback when they have done a mistake. This actually improves the students learning quite a bit and we have tested this uh, in our kind of studies. Um, and what we found was that uh, this method also made sure that the students would practice during the term as compared to leaving everything towards the end of the to prepare for the exam. One of the greatest uh, asset to Imperial is their diversity, uh, but that brings with it some challenges into what mathematics background they have. Um, students coming from international, like maybe other countries, uh, as well as even in UK, um, have different uh, courses that they have taken, um, which means that some students have experience with certain topics, whereas some of them don't. And so therefore what we ended up doing was since this platform was uh, able to give students an opportunity to practice and learn, uh, we developed dedicated resources for pre-sessional content. Uh, we uh, annotated them with hints and solutions uh, as well as uh, video tutorials on certain topics so that students don't feel left out uh, if they haven't looked at certain content b before coming to Imperial. Um, so this pre-sessional content has also been quite heavily used uh, over the past two years. Uh, we see more than 90% usage of st these are the students who have received the offers and they will be joining Imperial. Uh, so it's good to see that at least uh, they are able to revise and identify the gaps if they have any and practice on their own pace. While I was working on this project on online assessments, one of the students uh, came to me and uh, they told me that uh, some of the equations are not readily accessible via the screen readers. So for example, uh, the, the notes that we provide uh, for mathematics courses or math heavy courses, uh, they're usually either in the form of a book or in the form of a PDF. While a PDF can be quite accurate uh, when read by screen readers, uh, especially for text, uh, for equations it struggles quite a bit and there are several issues that can come up uh, and it's not 100% accurate when reading equations. When I found out about this, I thought that this actually is not great for accessibility and uh, if we can improve that in some way, then that would be great. Um, and so I was looking for solutions and there was this um, 
a very easy to kind of implement solution that we found. And so we developed a screen reader accessible website. Uh, so we transformed all of our PDF course notes uh, to a screen reader accessible website. Uh, there were several benefits of doing this. Um, the students were not limited to access it when they have a PDF copy around on the device. So they can go online and do it whenever they wanted to. We were also able to introduce new things. Uh, so we uh, made sure that everything was consistently color coded. So the definitions, theorems, and examples are all consistently color coded while keeping in mind the color patterns which are necessary for accessibility. Um, so that we are creating an inclusive uh, website. I would say overall these implementations have been quite positive um, and they have improved how the way uh, the how the students were learning. Um, it has made mathematics a bit more accessible, um, at least with the screen reader for sure. And it has also benefited other students who are not using the screen readers. So because once you, uh, once something is good, then it actually benefits uh, everyone.